Hey, Iostax here. Overwatch has yet to introduce an in-game match history, so seeing your progress as a player relies on external resources. In this video, I would like to explain the benefits of tracking your matches, how I do it myself, and a very interesting alternative I found on the net. I first want to start this off with a disclaimer. Tracking your matches won't help you climb ranks, but it can help you get over the mental roadblocks you might face on your way up, and it can offer you some valuable information that if used right can lead to faster learning. Okay, and let's go over why you should do it. Bad experiences get engraved into our memories and we tend to forget about our success. This can lead to you getting the feeling that you lose more than you win, even with a positive win rate. Because of this, losing streaks can cause a lot of frustration. You forget about all the winning streaks you had and only focus on the current moment. This just tilts you to no end. You can get the feeling that you are going nowhere and that all the time you invest is wasted. But having a match tracker can help you by reminding you of the good times. Whenever I have a bad day of ranked, I look at my match tracker and remind myself that I'm very well capable of winning games, it's just not my day and I need to work hard to improve. But match trackers also have feasible benefits to actually improve your game. They can tell you what maps you are good at and what game modes, they can even track the time you play and tell you when you have the most, uh, the highest win rate. It can also help determine the best group size for you and tell you what characters you win the most with. With this information you may be able to find patterns and use that to your advantage. Keep in mind however that you need a sizable amount of data. Playing 20 games isn't enough to get anything meaningful out of it, but as you progress and the number of games goes into the triple digits, a match tracker can be a very, very valuable asset of your past achievements. Okay, but let's get into how you can actually start tracking your matches. Simply visit the link that I'm going to put in the description and open the tracker. Make sure that you have a Google account so that you can use Google Drive, but if you have a YouTube account that should be covered already. Simply go to the top left and create a copy and you're good to go. I personally put the tracker to my starting pages as soon as I launch my browser. Go to the input tab and type in all information you can before the game starts and then the rest when it is over. Once you have a good amount of data, you can go to the analysis tab and see what the sheet says to you. Also, you don't have to save any of this. Google Drive is cloud based, meaning that any changes you make are saved and secure. Tracking your matches this way is obviously more of a hassle than an in-game variant, but it doesn't take that much time and can usually be done in the loading screen or in the queue while waiting for another match to pop up. Before we end this, I would like to show you this work in progress GitHub project I found. It is not yet finished, but it looks super promising. It is very user friendly and looks pretty good, although a lot of statistics are missing yet. This could streamline match tracking a lot and it will, would allow other users to see your tracked matches too. There are other projects, some of them even offline, that are popping up all over the place and I think they look very promising. But until then, we are stuck with Google Docs or Excel files and we won't have an in-game match tracker anytime soon it seems. I hope that this short video helped you out. I personally love seeing all the statistics and watching my document grow with every game I play. It is like a history book of my Overwatch account. If you have any alternatives, then type them in the comments and if you have any feedback, make sure to use the like and dislike button to either support me or tell me I'm doing stuff wrong. My name is Aristax and I'd like to thank you for learning.